Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on Lake Erie Speedway in PA. Here on a set of course set, taking a look and shakedown of my E36 ESDA Pro drift car for 2022 ESDA season. You guys know I've been going through a couple different cars, testing a bunch of different cars. We are rocking this E36 here, full rear mount and everything like that that I've been working on. The original base model was a DCGP E36, but went full blown race car with it full different interior different things going on still got a little bit of modeling you need to finish but we do have a full rear mount and everything in the car as well make sure you guys follow me on all social media all the description box below let's get to it so we are here at lake erie speedway which i guess you would consider my home track the track here in a set of course that now a uh, very decent model for the first model of Lake Erie Speedway. So definitely going to go full send with this car here and do some shakedown of the E36 here at Lake Erie. So full send in this supercharged LS powered E36 BMW. You know me being a BMW tech and everything. BMWs are suiting. So let's go full send. Try and keep it probably a little low for the first just to get acclimated to the car. Came off that bank a little bit too early. They tried not hit handbrake there. So this is just on a base two. So we are running just a basic line on this car. Not fully on the wall yet. Doing a little shakedown. Of course we do this with all cars. And now I'm going to throw myself up higher onto the wall. The base tune does feel pretty good, but I'm going to be doing a lot of testing here at Lake Erie. As you can see, we're way out of that zone, nowhere near it, as well as a lot of other tracks. So we're going to go full send for another lap, and then we'll take a look at the outside and see where we're really at. much higher up in the wall into that little section which is quite tricky actually a little flick I felt the back end of the car go up on the bank so definitely think we're putting through those outer clip cones so let's take a look at the actual replay and see if we can't see exactly where we were now the track doesn't really have replay cameras per se so we're gonna go and activate our free cam and then we're going to pretty much just track the car a little bit of weird matrixing on that so we kind of just really want to see where we were kind of at here from a little bird's eye view which is usually the best view in order to take a look at it so let's see where we're actually at right now First run out. First run, we were definitely not high on the bank. I can tell you that already. So we were a mid, about a mid line in that second line. We did come off a little bit early, and we were a good car length off of that zone. And then we were initially in it, but fell out at the end of that zone. So. Overall, for the first run, not too terrible of a run. Could have done way better. The second run, I want to see really where we are because we were much higher on the bank. Much higher on the bank, deep in the zone. Filled that zone completely. Out to those cones, which we kind of want to do. And then where did we get into the zone? We did get into that zone pretty well. And I think we held that zone actually really well we weren't as deep as i thought we went a little bit over there so we would have punted that cone but overall not a too bad of a run so we're gonna go back to pits get a fresh set of tires we're gonna run this time in third person see where we're really at we can check it in third get that uh type s lights underneath so if you guys want to keep seeing more test and tuning here for esda 2022 you will liver reveals and things like that here on the channel Mm -hmm. 
quick flick in. Nice and high on that wall there. Came out of that a little bit late, and we caught that bump on the off the bank. So we came off that, we held into that a little bit too long, longer than we should have, and it actually cost us a little bit of an issue. So we're going to give that another go. We need to come off a little bit sooner. We held that a little bit too long in that outer zone, so... Tire's already warm. Started on a midline, got higher. Can we come off sooner? That's much better. Got to rotate the car. We did not float the car all the way out there at all. Like Erie Speedway, kind of a tricky track with that intersection. And the FD drivers were actually having a little bit of problem in there too, initially. So not running many laps here is definitely going to take a little getting used to trying to come off that bank to get into that outer section. But definitely sweet to see Erie Speedway here and uh, have a lot of fun with it because it is a local track for me. So definitely excited to turn some laps at a track that I'm local to. Another run here and see what we could do. We're going to try to initiate higher on the wall this time. Still mid-line entry. Need to work on getting that out there. We may need to make an adjustment on the suspension. Flip that out. Okay, see that's a better float out to those codes. We did cross that line. Not sure if that line is correctly in the right spot. Oh, we went up a little bit on the bank. Almost sent that a little too sideways. So this E36 is definitely a massive, aggressive car that I am very comfortable in. Uh, my M4 was very aggressive as well, but wanted to go back a little bit to a car that I'm super fun in having and seeing and things like that is an E36. You don't see too many E36s. You know, Rome Charpentier driving it in FD. That car just is insanely fun to watch drift. E36, one of my favorite BMW chassis as well. So we're going to go take a look at one more track here for today. And we'll catch you guys on grid. So another fun track that I enjoy running is here at Daytona. ESD at Daytona course, which gives the back the really good Forza vibes. So we're going to go line up, run two laps, take a look at the replay camera. Make sure you guys follow me on social media. I'll find the description box below. Oh, that's not my Type S lights. That is my Type S lights. We've got the Type S light indicators. And of course, the headlight indicators as well. But we got our Type S lights on. Full we'll send here at Daytona. We're going to have to smack into the wall. Gonna transition in. A little left foot break. Definitely deep there. Should, did not want to go that deep. That's just inner clip. Little bobble to the inner clip, but stretch it out towards the end of the track. So, overall, not a terrible run. We can do one more final one, trying to enter really close onto that entry wall as we can. And of course, we're going to take a look at the outside of the replay cameras. Full set here at Daytona in the 36. May have been in that wall. Got to shoot this too wide. Little handbrake grab there. Kind of screwed me up. Actually, grabbing that handbrake was actually the bad idea on that section. So, overall, not too bad. We're going to do one final run because I want to get that turn and I don't want to the only time I want to touch handbrake is actually on entry so we're gonna try just handbrake entry and then not touch it for the rest of the run that's a little bit more what I wanted to do That's actually the run we were looking for. Definitely going to want to take a look at that run in replay camera. That's the run I was actually looking to get. So let's take a look at that run and see what we got. 
Almost clipped that code now. Pretty good initiation, pretty close to the wall. And this is where we went a little deep. We didn't touch the grass, we went a little deep and a little shallow there. So we had to bring it back to finish off that run. But we're on the final zone, we were actually really good. So the second run in. This is the run where we grabbed the e-brake and that e-brake actually caused us a little bit of a wonkiness. Hard flick entry in there though. Just banging red light, yeah, right there. E-brake entry sent us way short, and that E-brake kind of stalled us out through there. So, uh, definitely not a place to utilize, utilize the hammer. And this last and final run was probably the best run of the three. So this will end it up here for today. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all the transcription box below. Nice entry, hard on the wall. Good on that clip, decent in that zone. Really good in there, right off, basically on the line. Very good in those two zones, actually. A right. little shallow there. Kind of punted that with the front bumper, but overall not a bad run. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all the description box below. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you guys on the track.